Are you eager for more pixel art adventure games? I don't blame you. Hey, the 90s was a gold mine of incredible stories presented in just 16-bit graphics. You fell in love with the art style, I fell in love with the art style, and somehow it's endured. Despite graphics coming along leaps and bounds to the point where games like The Last of Us Part 2 and Horizon Forbidden West look indistinguishable from the real world if you don't count the deadly clickers and mechanical dinosaurs. Pixel art adventure games are far more simplistic at first look, but modern games are capable of much more than they could do in the 90s, and many incredible pixel art games have made their way to market in recent years. With a strong focus on story, characters, and making the most out of every single pixel, here are five of my picks for pixel art adventure games you should play now that Return to Monkey Island has come and gone. Unusual Findings is as new as point and click games get. It was released yesterday and is available on PC and console. The game is set in the 80s and features three friends embarking on an adventure to answer a distress call from an alien spaceship. Here's what you need to know about Unusual Findings. It's pixel art with a classic point and click interface and it's set in the freaking 80s. Why haven't you bought it already? The game has already won awards for excellence in writing and picked up a bunch of nominations for everything from the soundtrack to art direction. Unusual Findings is the perfect game to start playing this Halloween and experience a world packed with nostalgia. The game is inspired by everything from the Goonies to Terminator and Alien. It promises to be a thrill-packed adventure that's sure to make you say, oh my god, do you remember? A demo is available for those who want to test the waters before committing to a full purchase, but as soon as you hit play on Unusual Findings, you're going to be fully sucked into this coming-of-age story about three friends who just wanted to watch some adult entertainment. Lucy Dreaming is hitting digital storefronts next week after a successful Kickstarter campaign built on the promises of delivering a classic point-and-click game that's sure to delight fans of the LucasArts properties from the 90s. And one way they're delivering on that promise is by booking the voice of Guybrush Freepwood to be part of the game. That's right, Dominic Armato joins Lucy Dreaming in a role that sees the iconic voice actor take up the mic on his first new role in 20 years. Lucy Dreaming is the story of a girl, Lucy if you can believe, as she navigates the treacherous realms of her dreams as she uncovers a dark family secret. Lucy travels around the hometown of Figgington as she goes from reality to nightmare. The game is a charming, heavily British inspired story, so there's sure to be lots of classic British wit and sarcasm throughout the entire thing. In fact, the Lucy Dreaming demo, which is available now, gives players a taste of the sharp witted Lucy and how the puzzle design in the game works. Backed by Monkey Island creator Ron Gilbert, who is eager to play the game on day one, Lucy Dreaming is set to become a modern classic. One point and clickers will be playing for years to come. Easily my top pick for point and click of the year goes to The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a tantalising story set in the Yorkshire Moors. It's the story of an antiquarian, Thomasina Bateman, and it goes deep into English folklore. The game is a horror-esque thriller that sees the player descend upon the cosy village of Bewley. The game has a ton of atmosphere and deep dialogue that really endears you to the characters in this town. But something isn't right in Bewley and it's up to Thomasina to find out what's happened and how the mystery of the Barrow fits into her own past. It's a slow paced game but one that is very moorish. I found the game to be incredibly difficult to put down and when I wasn't playing it I was always thinking about it. The mystery builds as the days go on and Thomasina starts to figure out more about Hobbs Barrow. The ending of the game is so shocking that I just can't recommend this pixel art adventure game enough. It's another perfect addition to your Halloween catalogue of games and if you have any interest in English folklore the excavation of Hobbs Barrow is for you. The Red Strings Club is a cyberpunk bartending game that sees you take on the role of three characters, an enhanced human, a hacker, and the titular Red Strings Club owner. But the Red Strings Club is more than just a bartending game. It's a game about identity and what it means to be human in a world where technology is becoming increasingly advanced. It's a game that asks big questions and features some of the best writing I've seen in a video game, period. Of course, you will be mixing some drinks, but it's not that simple. You need to mix drinks in a way to bring out different emotions in the club's patrons. Players must think carefully about the drinks they mix as it can lead to an abrupt end of conversations. The Red Strings Club is a game that features some of the most interesting characters I've had the pleasure of virtually meeting. Every character has a unique story and it's up to you to uncover their secrets. This is a must-play game for any fan of cyberpunk or even just good writing in general. 
The Red Strings Club will leave you thinking at long after the credits have rolled. The Dark Side Detective is a point and click adventure game that tasks you with solving supernatural cases in Twin Lakes. You play as Patrick Dooley, a detective with a knack for the occult, who teams up with Francis McQueen, a member of the Dark Side Division, to solve these strange cases. What I love about the Dark Side Detective is its sense of humour. The game knows exactly what it is and doesn't take itself too seriously, but at the same time, it never descends into parody or pastiche. It's just a really fun game to play with some great puzzles to boot. If you're looking for a light-hearted but still challenging point-and-click game, then the Dark Side Detective is definitely for you. Point-and-click games are well and truly alive, and pixel art is still the preferred art style for many of the most talented creators. On consequences, good stories are what we care about the most, so if you're looking for more content about games with incredible stories, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you've played any of the games mentioned in this video, please leave a comment below with your thoughts and if there's anything I should be checking out let me know and I'll add it to my list.